Hi guys, it's Leanna from Leanna's Nest. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be doing this video a little differently. I'm going to do the first part, a decorate with me, and the second part, a cook with me. I use the term cook with me loosely because even, there is, even though there is a cooking component, it's pumpkin ice cream, so there's not much cooking involved. But please stay with me until the end so you can enjoy both parts of the video. So for today's decorate with me, I'm going to be decorating in my living room. So if you saw my video, my first decorate with me for fall video, which if you haven't, I will link it below, but I did my wood burning fireplace mantle in that video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my electric fireplace that's in my living room. The other one was in my family room. So I'm gonna be decorating that and I'm gonna be decorating the little sitting area that I have in my living room. We don't, want, we don't really spend a lot of time in the living room. We really spend a lot of time in the family room, but it is the first thing you see when you walk in the house. So I wanted to have just as cozy a fall vibe as the rest of the house does. So I'm going to be decorating the mantle and the sitting area today. And then stick with me because I'm gonna be making one of my favorite fall recipes, pumpkin ice cream. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's get started. This is my electric fireplace in my living room. I got it from Sam's Club or Costco. I can't remember which one. This is where I set up my Christmas village at Christmas time. So make sure you subscribe to see how I do that in my upcoming holiday series. I'm going to start by adding this gather sign in the middle of the mantle. By the way, I always keep a picture on the mantle except for when I have my Christmas village set up. Next, I'll be adding these candlesticks back. I normally have them up during spring, summer, and fall. I got them last year at Hobby Lobby. I just put some simple white LED candles on them. Next, I'm going to be adding my leaf garland. I don't think I showed this in my decor haul video, but I got them in a two pack from Amazon. This candle was in my fall decor haul video. If you haven't seen that, it will be linked below. I'm very excited to light this and see how it smells and burns with the wood wicks. I picked up this faux pumpkin at the Target bullseye slash dollar spot. I'm just going to place it on the corner of the mantle. I got this cute little sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to place it on the opposite corner as the pumpkin. I also got this cute little guy from the Dollar Tree. I just tucked him in the leaves. You really have to be paying close attention to even spot him. Next, I'm going to be adding this little pumpkin that came in a bag of pumpkins from the Target Bullseye spot. I'm just gonna place it next to the sign. I 
I decided I couldn't wait any longer and I had to light my apple cinnamon candle. By the way, I am big on fire safety and I do eventually move the candle further away from the leaves. Next, I'm going to add my stacked wooden pumpkins, which is one of my favorites from this year's fall decor haul. I'm just going to place it in the back corner. And that is my completed mantle. At least I thought at the time. It seems like I always go back like the next day and find something to add. I did go back and use some of this fall berry strand that I used before in my dining room. And then after that, everything was complete. This is my living room sitting area. It's not used that much. The couches here are really old and I want to replace them since it's the first thing you see when you enter the home. But we mainly hang out in the family room. I have the love seat, chair, ottoman, and the side table here. The pillows I made myself with a tribal print fabric. I'll be keeping those there for fall and just adding some more pillows. First, I'm going to start off by adding these faux leather pillows. I bought the set from Amazon. I love that it matches my faux leather accents on my dining room table. If you haven't seen that video, it's linked below. Next, I'm going to be adding this cozy fall blanket I got from Marshalls. I wish you could feel how soft this is. My kids couldn't even wait until I left the store before they started snuggling up with it. I'm just going to fold it and drape it over the back of the love seat. I bought this pillow from the Target Bullseye Spot for $5. I thought that it was an awesome price for such a cute pillow and apparently a lot of other people did too because I've seen it in so many videos. Let me know in the comments below if you have this pillow too. I feel like instead of where's Waldo, it should be where's the Hello Pumpkin pillow. Now I have this side table I got a couple years ago off of Amazon. I normally keep this lamp and my plant. That's not looking too great right now, but I've had it for over 10 years and I haven't killed it yet. I'm going to add a couple Dollar Tree signs I got last year. I'm just going to stack them on top of each other and place them on the table. I got this candle from Marshalls. If you've seen my other videos, you probably know I make candles, but if I run out of time, I try to get soy or beeswax candles. This one is a coconut wax candle, and it's just so cute with a little hedgehog on there. It reminds me of something out of Wind in the Willow. Next, I'm going to be adding this tray to my ottoman. It ties in the gray I have as accents all throughout my house. On top of the tray, I'm adding this ceramic pumpkin. It's probably meant to be a candy dish, but I'll be making it into a candle in the next couple days. The 
The last thing I'm going to add is this pumpkin sign that came in a set from the Target Bullseye spot. And this is my completed cozy fall city area. Today I'm going to be making one of my all-time favorite fall recipes, pumpkin ice cream. This recipe not only reminds me of fall, but reminds me of some of my favorite childhood memories of going over to Indiana for the Covered Bridge Festival every October and going to this little country store called Gobbler's Knob, which had the best pumpkin ice cream in the world. I'm gonna start out by adding one cup of half and half to a small saucepan. Next, I'm going to add two egg yolks to the half and half and whisk it all together until the egg yolk and the half and half are all blended well. I put it on the stove and turn the temperature on medium heat, whisking the mixture almost constantly. It should only be on the medium heat until you see very small bubbles forming around the edges. As soon as I see the bubbles forming, I turn the temperature down low and continue cooking it for about five minutes, whisking it periodically. While the mixture in the saucepan is cooling, I start on the rest of the ice cream batter. I add one more cup of half and half. Then I add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Next for the star of the show, the pumpkin. I'll add three fourths cup of pumpkin puree. After the pumpkin is added, I will make sure that everything is blended well together. I'll make sure that there are no lumps. Next, I will add the egg and half and half mixture that I cooked on the stove. I make sure it has least cold to room temperature, but it works even better if you chill it in the freezer or fridge a little. I stuck mine in the freezer for about 10 minutes after it had cooled down. Once again, I blend everything together. Unlike most of my other ice cream recipes, I'm adding brown sugar. I'm adding a fourth a cup of brown sugar. And then I'll just blend everything together. I'll also be adding white sugar. I'm adding a total of one cup of white sugar and once again, blending everything together there too. Now it's time for the spices. I'll be adding nutmeg, cinnamon, and ginger. First, I'm adding a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Next, I'll add a eighth teaspoon of cinnamon. Lastly, I'll add just a couple dashes of ginger, not much at all and then I will blend it all together. The last ingredient I will add is a half teaspoon of vanilla. And of course, after I get that in, I will blend that together too. Now it's time to add my ice cream batter to my ice cream machine bowl. I use a Cuisinart ice cream maker and I've had my bowl in the freezer overnight. The batter fits perfectly in my machine. 
As I mentioned in a previous video where I made ice cream, I'm a huge fan of this ice cream maker because it's so easy. I just set um, the bowl on the stand. I add the mixing paddle and then I will place the cover on top. Then it is easy as flipping on the on switch. Because my bowl was so cold and I chilled the egg, egg mixture in the freezer, I literally had ice cream in 10 minutes. Look how creamy and delicious that looks. After about 10 minutes, I stopped the machine and I had creamy soft serve ice cream. But for me, my pumpkin ice cream must be hard serve ice cream. So I pop it in the freezer for about an hour and let it harden up before I scoop it into bowls for serving. I hope you give this delicious fall recipe a try. And I hope you enjoyed today's cook with me and decorate with me. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You won't want to miss my next video where I give my front porch a real makeover.